many manufacturers are still in that gray area where they're trying to decide which way to go. They're trying to decide going with a very small systems integrator or a very large solution provider. So I'm curious, building in-house versus getting something off the shelf, how that decision and evaluation took place. So we have both, but not this industrial IoT platform. So the choice was that we should have something that is, let's say, easy to put in place. And for sure, we are not a specialist to develop driver or something to connect it to the equipment. So I think this is one of the, one of the key points that we are not able to develop something that with the large driver, because yes, we have company in the US. So more or less you have the Alan brother or the, or Roquel in Europe. Mostly we have Siemens, maybe Finuc as well. In Asia, we had a lot of, a lot of kind of PL. It's important for us to have something ready to use. The second point is that my team is very small. I would like to have a tool that is usable for end users, even if they are not IT. And even if they are not automation people, so it is really part of our uh, choice criteria as well. For this platform, IoT, yes, indeed, we did not consider the, the house-made application, but of course, for example, we have, we developed, for example, a house-made application for OE, for example, because it's simple. With the, with the platform, you collect the signals and then in the application, you just display it, make some calculation and that's it. So it's easy and anyone can do it, even, even if with the Excel, you can do it. But for the platform, it's very important and also it should be easy to use by the end users and it should be scalable as well. What's scalable is that basically I have now that I have one data hub for each plant, but tomorrow my point is that we are testing uh, this with my team to have a device on the edge directly on the production line and having the software there. In that way, we can log data. Even if I have I shown the network, I have the information there. I can there put some storage throughout the system. So it's under testing with, the, with my team. So it's the next step of our architecture. And it is in prevision of the fact that I would like to put the AI in the shop floor directly because storing data in the cloud will be costly. And maybe in the beginning, we should maintain the model of our AI system. But once the model is okay, we can push it directly to the edge. And maybe we just need to store the, the key data. And that way it can reduce as well the, the, the cost of ownership of the whole system. So yes, we go step by, we try to, to keep a global vision.